Hi guys, my name is Chiedza, uh, aka Chi Chi, and today I'll be reading a short uh, verse out of the book of Mark in the New Testament, chapter 1, verses 35 to 39, and it is titled, Jesus Preaches in Galilee. So I'll first read what the Bible says, and then I will tell you the key points that I found out of this uh, verse, and then we will discuss what, what was going on in the little verse. So I'm going to read, it says, very early the next morning, long before daylight, Jesus got up and left the house. He went out of the town to a lonely place where he prayed. But Simon and his companions went out searching for him, and when they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. But Jesus answered, we must go on to the other villages round here. I have to preach in them also because that is why I came. So he traveled all over Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and driving out demons. So while I was reading this, um, I was taking our key points. And these key points are early, lonely place, searching, the importance of being found and located by Christ, traveling, preaching and demons. So those are the key points that I got. I think they're about seven. Yeah, they're seven points. Okay. Or maybe six. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh... Jesus had to find a very lonely place to pray, okay? It was very secluded, and it was before anyone woke up, because it says very early the next morning, long before daylight. So this, for me, just emphasizes the importance of your surroundings and the environment in which you find yourself, that the environment you want to pray, actually. It's very important to pray in a very lonely place or a very secluded area where you can think about your prayer, you can talk to God about your prayer, and a place where you won't be disturbed while praying because it is very important to get into the spirit before you pray even during your prayer you need to maintain the spirit so that your prayer is heard by god okay so um your surroundings and the environment around it influences your connection with god influences the connection with your prayer okay so find a very calm place where you can pray okay and then I felt like searching in this verse had a literal and a very figurative perspective to look at to look at it, okay? So if we're looking at it from a literal perspective, Simon and his companions actually had to go out finding Jesus, okay? And when they found him, they said, everyone is looking for Jesus, okay? Or we could look at it at a figurative perspective where Christ had located this this area for God to go pray of for Jesus, sorry, for Jesus to pray at, and Jesus had to go out early in the morning to find this place. So it is very important that you go out looking for this area, not just, well, for yourself as well, because it is important to search for the area and for Christ to search for you, okay? Um, so it also emphasizes or said that Jesus preached all over Galilee, driving out demons and preaching out in the synagogues. So I felt like Jesus driving out all these demons and preaching the word shows how preaching and knowing the word leads to the maintenance of your healing. So you can't just go to church and do what is right to God or do what God is, what is done right, okay? And come home and do and reverse every single thing you have just worked on that Sunday. So if you understand, if you read the word, if you um, preach the word to yourself not to other people or if you want to preach it to other people it's okay but reading the word and understanding it um, after your deliverance is very important because I feel like that is what maintains your healing so just try it out try understand the word try preach the word try see what it where it's taking you Main apply it to your everyday life and that's how you maintain your healing okay and when Jesus went to Galilee to preach, and uh, as he did, that that was his purpose. So it also, I'm feeling like we all have a purpose. We haven't found it yet, and that's okay, because we have to go searching for our purpose until it is revealed to us. So whether you find your purpose or you haven't found your purpose, you will always just, you will always have a purpose, okay? And it's... You shouldn't stress yourself in trying to find the purpose. It will come to you. You know, time will always reveal it. That's why God had to go searching for this lonely place to pray. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got out of this little scripture. I know it was very short, but let's keep it simple. So just remember that you will have a purpose and you will find your purpose one day. 
and that you need to pray in a very calm environment where you can connect with your prayer, where you can connect with the Holy Spirit, okay? Um, always just remember that, okay? You are loved by me, by everyone. Just even if they don't say it, it's okay. God is looking out for you. And just remember, you are found by Christ. Christ found you. Christ has saved you. Just remember that God will always love you and there's nothing more than more important than feeling that type of love for you so yeah guys that was it for me if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and yeah have a blessed day uh, my name is chiedza and i'm out